They're mm -hmm. part of the journey. All right, well, let's talk about the weather. We had a beautiful day today, yeah, and we are too. eyeing the Everybody holiday weekend. Everybody is watching Dorian, though, as well. Yes, and holiday weekend and Dorian, unfortunately, yeah. will go hand in hand, hand for the southeastern part of the country. So we'll start quickly <laughs> to the southeast in the tropics, where Dor Dorian gained hurricane strength this afternoon, and it's up about five miles per hour from the latest advisory. The new advisory came in at 11 o'clock this evening, and you can see the tightening of this storm that is now north of Puerto Rico. Winds up to 85 miles per hour. It is a Category 1 storm. Lots of open water to work with, and open water the fuel for a hurricane. Forecast to gain strength between now and early Friday, becoming a Category 2 on Friday becoming a Category 3 storm, unfortunately, as we head into the Labor Day weekend. And right now, everywhere from Miami through the coastal sections of Georgia, even the Carolinas, keeping a close eye on Dorian, forecast to become a Category 3 hurricane, although there's still a fair amount of uncertainty on exactly where Dorian will make landfall. They are preparing across the southeastern part of the country. Closer to home, we've got clear skies. A little cool, 63 degrees. Winds are out of the southwest at 7. Dew points in the mid-50s. It's going to be another night in the 50s for central Indiana. 55 in Kokomo, 56 in Lafayette and Greencastle, 57 tonight in Indianapolis. So maybe a jacket or a sweatshirt first thing tomorrow morning. Temperatures will climb into the low 60s by 9 a.m. and will continue to climb from there. 77 with sunshine by noon tomorrow. We'll forecast highs tomorrow up a few degrees from today. Only made it to 79 this afternoon. We'll be in the low 80s tomorrow. Future track 13, pretty quiet across central Indiana. But there will be a boundary to track that will bring some rain chances out to our west. That boundary will kind of fizzle out, but still be close enough that we can't completely rule out a pop-up shower or storm as we head into the holiday weekend. But the bigger story will be the temperatures climbing back into the 80s. Friday afternoon, the mid-80s, and those numbers will continue for the entire holiday weekend. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. We get to 81, partly cloudy Friday, 85, keeping rain chances out to at least to a minimum at this point. We'll keep you posted on any changes. Highs in the 80s, Saturday, Sunday, and Labor Day.